Hello and welcome to the Alpha Spotlight for Immersive Railroading 0.2.1. At this point most of the major features are in the game and we should be on schedule for the beta this weekend. There's a few missing pieces but overall the game is mostly playable and it's even approaching playability for uh, survival at this point. As you can see from the last uh, video there is new rolling stock in the game. I've got to thank Union uh, he goes by uh, the legend uh, 5550, if I'm remembering correctly, online for his awesome modeling skills. He's doing stuff that I can only begin to fathom. So, um, again, new rolling stock, new features. So, this is a good view of some of the new rolling stock, some Pennsylvania rolling stock. Uh, eventually, we're going to have the ability to replate, renumber, recolor, but again, this is just the alpha. Um, both of these locomotives are heating up. The particles are not there yet, but they will be soon. Each of the pieces of rolling stock has a working inventory, uh, both liquid and item. Let's uh, go for a ride. Uh, so this is the A1 Peppercorn Tornado. Uh, and this is one of my personal favorite locomotives. It was actually just built in the past uh, 10, 20 years, depending on if you're counting start time or end time. Uh, at this point, we have some of the basic coupling working. I've already coupled these locomotives together. You can see in the bottom we have a water gauge, a PSI gauge, and actually, I'm running out of fuel, so let me put some more in. Let's grab some coal, click, and here we go. So as you can see, when you put the, the burnable item in, it starts burning immediately and decrements uh, the item stack there. And you can see in the background, there's a slow timer ticking down uh, as uh, the as uh, the item burns. Um, uh, right now, I have this set of infinite water. That way, we don't have explosions as I'm testing the uh, testing them up. All right. So take the brake off and bring the throttle up. And there we go. Helps if I just take the, the brake off. You can see also the wheel slip is uh, now implemented. So if you start accelerating with a really heavy train, the wheels will actually start spinning on their own and you'll uh, lose traction. Mo the majority of those calculations are actually done for the 1.0. There's a couple small uh, tweaks I need to make here and there, but overall that's working quite well. Um, we've also had people all around the world testing on uh, the alpha server to make sure um, that this is uh, fluid uh, and dynamic uh, even when you've got really high ping times. It actually uses, um, a, uh, as, as far as I know, it uses a unique uh, system for syncing client and uh, server as far as where items are and playing back uh, where, the, where they should be. I've actually talked with some of the other Rail Mod developers about that, and uh, it's uh, been working pretty well. Uh, so you might see some smoother movement in other mods due to that algorithm. So let's uh, put the brake on and we've come to a stop. All right, so at this point, uh, that's just some of the basic rolling stock. Uh, in the tab here, you can see there's a bunch of different stock to choose from. That list will be growing significantly over time. Um, at some point, these may become icons, uh, but overall, it's, it's easier just to do the rendering here. Uh, as it stands right now. So let, let's go over starting off with this mod that now that you've gotten a quick teaser for what it can be. In this crate here, I have some track components. And because I'm in creative, I can just place these down without um, actually having resources in my hand. So let's take a look at this. Um, so as you go to place down a track, you can see there's both a preview in your hand, in the inventory, and on the ground. The way you configure uh, the track is by right-clicking into the air. So there's a couple different types to choose from, so we can change it to a switch with four quarters, and that looks like that. We can place that down, we can break it. Um, we can fill the rail bed, so you can plop down that, and it will actually... Oop, well, I guess I broke that feature. <laughs> um, you can change the rail bed. Um, let's make it magenta. Fill the hole in. Now we've got a magenta rail bed. So each of these pieces, again, shows a basic blueprint. You can place it down and uh, choose different pieces. 
And something new for this alpha is the ability to place down a blueprint. Um, and this is really helpful when you're lining up different pieces of track. So you can place that down, and it's still just showing a uh, blueprint here. So what I can do is right click on that, and let's say I change a setting, it automatically updates the render. And let's say we change it to planks as the bottom. And actually, I wanted a straight here. Um, so if I shift click, break it, it will place down the track. Now this doesn't seem super useful until, uh, let's see, you place this down. And let's say you've got um, a turn that's coming in here. And because of the way this all works, uh, sometimes rails don't line up exactly, uh, depending on your radius, depending on a bunch of different settings. Uh, so again, let's open up the UI and switch the position to smooth. And now what we can do is if you hold shift right click, you can position where the track sits on the rail bed. I don't recommend using this for most things, but if you're placing some diagonal track and it's going into a curve, it, uh, it makes sense to uh, switch it into this mode. But that's, again, not what, what I want in here, so I'm gonna break that and switch this back to normal mode. Fixed, place that down, and there we go. So that's the experience in Creative, but what's just been recently added in the past hour or so, to be honest, um, is the ability to hop into Survival and start placing down components. So let's do the same thing. Let's choose this track here. The rail bed is not yet supported for this mode, but it's coming quickly. All right, game mode, Survival place it down and as you can see it it actually went through and removed items from my inventory so watch that again it removed items from the inventory um, so I think I got rid of my pick so let's okay now we've got a pick we can break this and it drops the uh, items back here. So uh, we can, I'm actually gonna leave this one for now, but let's go put these away. Um, oh, and some to show is that you can place these at different angles. Um, this isn't fully baked yet. Some of the rail bed still needs to be tweaked. The algorithm that generates that dynamically, but uh, it does work well enough for an alpha. Um, and this allows you to go around mountains, go through woods at different angles, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so let's put this away, put all this stuff away. And here is something I'm very excited to show. Um, these are all the different components you need to build a locomotive. So what we're going to do is place down frame, which is... This is, that's the front frame, side rod, bogey front. There we go, here's the, here's the main frame. Whoa. And currently holding in your inventory, it's huge. Um, so coming back over here, can't really see, but that will be fixed shortly. You can place down the frame. Now at this point, the locomotive will not move. It is stuck in position, you can't couple to it, to it. you can't do anything. Um, and eventually there will be support blocks that are rendered in place so it's not just floating here. But what we can do is we can either click on it with one of these components, like that's the front truck there, or we can hit it with the wrench and it places the items in. So at this point, it's uh, assembling the locomotive. And you can see the items in my inventory are going away. And if I hit it, it is complete. So this is a fully functioning locomotive now. And when you go and break it by shift clicking on it, it drops the full item. But if you have it in a partial, uh, partially assembled state, let's say we pop off using shift right click, we pop off some of the components and then you break it, it drops all the components right on the ground. And there we go. Uh, currently, we're working on a immersive uh, engineering style uh, multi-block for 
being able to create all of these different components. Um, that's the next big thing before the alpha. There's a couple tweaks, a bunch of bug fixes, but hopefully this weekend uh, this will be uh, ready for pretty much normal everyday use on a server, uh, barring uh, updates and bug fixes every couple of weeks. Again, it's going to be in beta, so anything you build with a mod should work in the next versions, um, but there may be updates where um, you may have to recouple rolling stock uh, or um, just uh, small things like that. But overall, shooting for the beta this weekend, we're on track. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.